The growing complexity of today's business and regulated landscape is increasingly challenging companies to maintain their values and the trust of their stakeholders, such as customers, regulators, employees and business partners. With the influence of public opinion reaching an all-time high, combined with the fast-evolving technology and regulated landscape, organizations are feeling the pressure to grow responsibly while managing risks and building resilience for whatever tomorrow holds. Adding to this complexity is the fact that organizations have become increasingly reliant on third parties. But this has meant that the conduct of third parties can directly impact the reputation of an organization. We recently surveyed over 1,200 third-party risk and compliance professionals of whom three in four experienced at least one significant disruption caused by a third party in the last three years. This hyperactive risk landscape and the growing disruptions caused by third parties demonstrate the need for organizations to establish a robust risk-based third-party risk management program. The first step is really to understand the third-party risks that your organization is exposed to. And this starts with carefully assessing your business relationships against potential risks such as cyber, four parties and ESG. The next step is to establish or enhance a third-party risk management program that enables an assessment of the identified risks across the third party's life cycle. Educating third parties on your values and instilling an ongoing monitoring program to address non-compliance are key to an effective third-party risk management program. At KPMG, we have developed a third-party risk management framework to help companies assess the maturity of their third-party risk management. Our framework provides a holistic overview of your third-party risk management practices, giving you increased control over your business relationships. This will allow you to create value across the value chain and enhance the stakeholder trust.